Welcome back, everybody, to The Deep Dive, where we take your curiosity and uh, will we dive deep? Always exciting to see where our listeners' minds are going, ready to unpack some of these. Absolutely. Let's kick things off with a celestial showstopper. Tonight's Northern Lights spectacle, huh? You want to know. know more about this? Right. Visible a lot farther south than usual tonight. Even parts of the northern U.S. might catch a glimpse. Yeah, you don't hear about that every day. Nope. Increased solar activity is the reason behind this. Basically, imagine solar winds colliding with Earth's magnetic field, and boom, those mesmerizing lights. It's crazy, right? Like you said, solar winds, actual cosmic forces creating a light show we get to see. I think it was in your notes you were wondering how people, you know, way back when interpreted these auroras before we knew any of this science stuff. Right, right. Try to picture that for a second. Those dancing lights, but with zero scientific explanation. For the Algonquin people up in North America, the Aurora Borealis, that was the spirits of their ancestors dancing around a fire in the sky. Wow. You know, it's beautiful in a way and a little haunting. Makes you realize how far we've come from spirits to understanding the actual science behind it. Pretty amazing. Speaking of pushing boundaries, you also sent some stuff about Tesla. Not exactly a company known for shying away from, well, shaking things up. True. Very true. And their goals are huge. We're talking revolutionizing transportation, sustainable energy, the whole shebang. Yeah, their full self-driving tech is a good example, creating quite a buzz. A little controversy, too. Oh, absolutely. AI but, behind the wheel. Yeah. It, it's exciting and a little unnerving, no. But honestly, <laughs> if they're focused on sustainability, that's the game changer. Take their supercharger network, fast charging stations all over the place so people aren't as worried about range. Yeah. You're not just buying a car. It's like a whole different way of thinking about driving. Exactly. They're pushing the whole industry toward a greener future whether people like it or not. It's true. Anyway, speaking of future shock, you flagged Terrifier 3. Talk about a different kind of future, huh? And Art the Clown. Just thought that, that name is kind of creepy. He's definitely earned his spot in the Horror Hall of Fame. You know what makes him so scary? The silence. He's just chaos. Unpredictable chaos. Ugh, that's what I hate about those slasher films. Never know when it's coming. Gets under your skin. Exactly. Yeah. This new Terrifier... We're hearing it's going even deeper into his world. Mm -hmm. The first two, they were full-on cult classics. Super gruesome. Yeah, not for the faint of heart. Anyway, before things get too dark, let's switch gears, talk about something a little more, I don't know, real world. You mentioned Addison's disease. Pretty rare, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Addison's disease, it affects these little glands, adrenal glands. They're on your kidneys, and they're responsible for some pretty essential hormones. Hormones, right. So we're talking like, what is it, cortisol? Stress hormone. Ding, ding, ding. Cortisol it is. Helps us deal with stress, you know, fight or flight, that whole deal. Now imagine life with barely any of it. Rough. Wow. That's going to be rough. Like your body's always on edge or something. It's tough. Addison's, it can really knock you down. Fatigue, weight loss, your blood pressure can bottom out. And here's the kicker. It often looks like other, more common stuff. Oh, so you might not even know. Yep. Lots of folks, they don't get diagnosed until it's way too late. You know, something really serious happens. That's why you got to be your own advocate. If something feels off, get a second opinion, third opinion, whatever it takes. Really drives home the point that knowledge is power, huh? Especially when it comes to your own body. And speaking of powerful, how about that 49ers Seahawks game coming up? Oh, man, are you yeah. kidding? This rivalry, it's legendary. Always a nail biter. This year feels different, though, right? Both teams are on fire. It's anyone's game. And, of course, Nick Bose is back for the Niners. That's huge. Huge doesn't even cover it. Yeah. He is a one-man wrecking crew on that defensive line. Yeah. Seriously, he can completely mess up an offense's whole game plan. You can't forget about Russell Wilson on the other side. Guy's a magician. Makes plays happen out of thin air. Right. The way he extends plays, finds those receivers downfield even with pressure. He's dangerous both inside and outside the pocket. Defenses never know what's coming. Yeah, it's like a tale of two styles, isn't it? You've got the Niners. They want to run the ball, control the clock, wear the other team down. And the Seahawks. They're all about that quick strike, big plays, lots of points. When their offense is clicking, forget about it. Like a heavyweight fight versus a fencing match. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. And that's what makes this matchup so interesting, you know? It's a real chess match between the coaches, too. Yeah. Niners, they need to keep Wilson contained. For sure. If he gets outside the pocket, it's trouble. On the flip side, Seahawks got to shut down that Niners passing attack. Going to be fun to watch. You know, it makes you think, underneath all the action, it's really a battle of strategy, mm -hmm. you know, analysis. 
Who understands the game better? It's like you were saying before with the Northern Lights, right? We used to think they were what magic and then we get the science. Sports is kind of like that too, isn't it? All about those deeper insights. You're looking at the stats, the film, trying to predict what'll happen based on all these different factors, like a scientist in the lab. And just when you think you've got it figured out, bam, something totally unexpected happens, a crazy play, an upset, and it reminds you there's always that human element. Exactly, that's what keeps us coming back. It's like why we love those scary movies like Terrifier 3. We want those jump scares, that adrenaline keeps things interesting. It, it's like we're hardwired to crave those surprises, you know? Whether it's something beautiful like the Aurora or a game-winning touchdown or even a good scare. We want to be amazed, reminded that there's still so much out there, you know? The world, our imaginations, full of possibility. Totally. And speaking of pushing boundaries, remember when we were talking about Tesla and technology? They're pushing limits for sure. Sustainable energy, yeah, but then there's the whole self-driving thing. It's a whole other level of AI. Makes you wonder, what happens when you mix that kind of tech with, I don't know, something like horror? Ah, bringing it back to Terrifier. <laughs> I like the way you think. Right. Like VR. It's getting so real. <laughs> What if you could experience a movie like that, but you're actually in it? Oh, man. Instead of just watching Art the Clown, you're right there with him. Every squirm, every, you know, you'd feel it. Exactly. That line between what's real, what's the movie, it's gone. Talk about a whole new level of horror. Could be amazing. Could be too intense, you know? <laughs> For sure. Like, where does entertainment end and, I don't know, messing with your head begin? Big questions, mm -hmm. and we're only going to see more of this tech. No doubt. It's exciting, but we got to be smart about it, right? Like with anything new, got to be careful. Totally agree. Just like we try to understand, I know, how things work, like the Northern Lights or football, we need to understand ourselves too, you know? Well said. We can't lose sight of what makes us human, even when we're pushing the limits. And that's what I love about these deep dives. Everything's connected. It is. From those incredible lights in the sky to... What, a football rivalry to a horror movie? Who knew, right? Exactly. It's all about that curiosity, that sense of wonder, asking questions, never settling for easy answers. Wouldn't have said it better myself. Well, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today. But hey, that's the beauty of a deep dive, right? It certainly is. And who knows where our curiosity will take us next time. Until then, keep exploring. And remember, sometimes the most fascinating discoveries are the ones we least expect.